Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. I'm going to be doing something a bit different for you. I'm going to be seeing how the Celtic holiday of Imbolc, which is about the halfway between point between the winter solstice and the spring equinox, will be affecting you, how that energy will be affecting you. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way that you are growing this itsy bitsy channel into something really big and really beautiful. So I thank you so much for your support. I I'm absolutely humbled by every single comment, every single subscription, every single like. You guys are absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for building this community and making this such a safe, beautiful place for people to come and listen to tarot readings. All right, so let's see what, how Imbolc will affect you, Leo. So how will the energy of Imbolc affect Leo? 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly. How will the energy of Imbolc affect Leo? Okay, we're gonna stop here. Imbolc is also known as Candlemas, and it is also known as Saint Breed's Day. So. Make sure you can see everything. Strong Aries energy here. Virgo. Water sign. Pisces. Cancer. Scorpio. You need to rest. Give me a moment to take it all in. Okay. So Leo, there's a count of four here that's very important for you. It, it, it almost feels as if you have been waiting for something or four months have been really hard and you've been taking a blow and now you have to kind of regroup yourself. This energy of Imbolc is going to help you be victorious over those who are trying to have you fail. There's a choice that you have to make to be able to move forward the way that you want to. You have two people walking away from you. You have passion, you have understanding guiding you forward. There's a sense here of you taking all your knowledge and moving on, moving to a place that is better suited for you, a place where the a as the angels are blessing you, a place where you want to be, you're taking this leap of faith, going where it is that you want, embracing what it is that you desire, seeing where it is that you want to be. There's a need for you to turn inward. Now this is also representative of a Virgo. So you have an Aries here, a Virgo here, water sign energy here with the Pisces Scorpio Cancer. This is being set free and also not having your emotions weigh you down, not having, oh, can you not see that? Goodness. Not having your emotions be be all-encompassing at this point. It's almost as if during this time, during this time of the quickening of the year, you you get set free, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, in a way that's really beautiful for you as you move forward, as you embrace what it is that you want. There's a sense of passion here. There's a sense of needing to keep your word, needing to go after what it is that you want. There's also a sense of having gone through a very combative time and now you're turning inward and saying, where is it that I want to be? You're transforming yourself. You're transforming the way you want people to perceive you, the way that you are perceiving your life. So this quickening of the year, this time of in bulk for you is really a time of taking a leap of faith to go after what it is that you desire, to embrace where it is that you want to be, to see how it is that you want to move forward and to and to be firm within your convictions. That's what the energy of Imbolc is giving you. You start off with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is all about being victorious. It's about having people oppose you and not being beaten down. You're going after what it is that you desire. You know your mind, you know yourself, so don't doubt yourself. The energy around you for Imbolc is saying to move forward, to, to know that people are going to try and get you down. There is going to be, there's kind of this combative energy around you when it comes to the Aries here. It doesn't mean that you're having a hard time with Aries. It's just that there is that warring energy that I'm picking up from these cards around you. And now you're saying, you know what? You have been through a lot. You have been through worse. You will go through better, most definitely. 
And this is saying here that the energy of in bulk is leading you forward, embracing where it is that you want to be, embracing what it is that you want from your life and your existence, and moving you forward to that place. Don't doubt yourself and don't think that you are going to fall because you're not. You are moving forward. You're seeing what it is that you truly desire with the Six of Swords, where it is that you want to be. The angels are blessing you. You are moving into the unknown. And as you are moving into the unknown, you're going to see that things become more clear to you. You're going to see that the unknown is not as scary as you think it is. No matter how much guidance we have, no matter how much positive energy is around us, there is always a sense of the future being unknown because the future is always going to be unknown. There are going to be variables that can't be foreseen. There are going to be people that can't be foreseen. There are going to be things that happen that you sit there and you look and you say, wow, I'm so glad I had this knowledge with the Six of Swords here, this knowledge, this understanding, this wisdom to get me through hard times because that's how you've been victorious against people who want you to fail. The Emperor and Aries can be around you or somebody who's very authoritative and you might be kind of balking against that authority. This is also saying here that you have been through a really rough time. You have been through a lot of heartbreaks, a lot of pain, and now it is time for you to sit on your throne and say, this is where I want to be. This is how I'm moving forward. This is the passion. This is the desire that I have to be where I want to stand. So the energy of in bulk for you, Aries, is all about knowing what it is that you desire, embracing where it is that you want to be, embracing the energy that is leading you forward, and knowing that nothing is going to get in your way. You're embracing the wisdom of Solomon. So to to see what it is that you want and to have to follow through to go and get it, right? This is a level of discipline. This is a level of decisiveness that might have been lacking in your, in your life for a little while or for some time, depending on each and every one of you. But this is saying now, this is my time, this is my day, and I'm not going to doubt myself anymore. I have the passion, I have the desire to go and get what it is that I want, and you're taking this leap of faith with the Fool card. You're taking this leap of faith. You're seeing that your emotions are running high and you are going after where it is that you want to be. That beautiful rainbow right there is showing you that your, your desires, your bliss, that's where you're heading. The angels are fiercely blessing you, fiercely guiding you as you move forward. You're taking your passions, you're taking your understanding, and you're taking that leap of faith on where it is that you want to be and what it is that you want from your life. So the energy of Imbolc is saying here, do not let people get you down. Stay focused on your desires and know that there's a flexibility that is coming your way that is going to lead you forward. A flexibility of energy that is coming your way that is leading you forward. There's a sense here of being grounded, but also needing to kind of cleanse your chakras Know that as you move forward, you need to know your truth and your prosperity, having your feet firmly planted on the ground. Once again, a repeat of the number four, family, very important. This is guarding your solar plexus right here, your your stomach. I forget which solar plex that is, so I do apologize. But this is saying here that at your core, you need to know where it is that you stand within your life, within yourself, and that people are trying to beat you down and people are trying to make you doubt where it is that you want to be and who it is that you are, don't let that doubt take you away from the goal and the purpose that you have. Ground yourself, know who it is that you are, and keep moving forward in your bounty and in your truth. The hermit right here is saying that you are turning inward. So as you are taking this leap of faith, you are taking this leap of faith towards what it is that your soul wants, not what it is that others may want you to do and how others may want you to be. You are embracing what it is that you want. You have this Virgo energy around you, which is very interesting. You have very powerful energy around you. You have this Aries energy, which I see here as being a bit combative for you. And then you have this Virgo energy, which is saying, step back. You know, look at yourself, look where it is that you want to be, look how it is that you want to move forward and move forward in that truth. Because the interesting thing with Virgos is that they love to be out and in the public, but they need that time to step back and to, to recharge their battery. So you need that time to recharge your battery, to know your truth, to know your centering. 
This is moving forward with your passion, guiding you and guiding your feet. You have the brown on of the de of the devil, okay? And I don't mean that in a bad way, but in the, the devil card in the Lewellyn Tarot deck, he wears this brown cloak with horns on top of it to show his connection with the earth. You're having that connection. You're setting yourself free. You're following and setting yourself free with the feathers here. You have the purple on, which is saying that you are moving forward in majesty, but this, is, this isn't a showy majesty. This is a majesty of where it is that you want to be, how it is that you want to move forward, how it is that you want to express your soul and yourself. Your clarifying cards are the Page of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Two of Wands. The Page of Cups, air, um, water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, setting yourself free, knowing what it is that you desire, knowing where it is that you want to be. You're that fish jumping into the water. Emotions are going to be running high during in book, so grounding yourself, centering yourself is going to be very, very important. That Four of Pentacles energy right here. This is also saying that you always have your armor on, Leo, and it's time to relax, to, to rest and relax, which I just combined those two words. It's time to let yourself know that as you move forward, there's no need to have the armor on all the time. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to what it is that you desire. Pay attention to where it is in your subconscious that you want to be because you're going to see a thawing of the winter that you have been in and a blooming of the spring that you want. This tree here, as I always say, that's a woman. She's a nymph. And as the spring comes, which is what in bulk is all about, an end of winter and a beginning of spring, and I know it's different depending on where you live in the world, but as you have this thaw come, you're going to see that your branches lift towards the sky, that you know more about what it is that you want. If you have this awakening of soul and self. The angels are fiercely guarding you even as you sleep, and they're going to be guiding your dreams. So listen to that, Leo. It's going to help you make a decision because you're not only thinking about today, you're thinking about the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come. And as you are embracing the future that you want, you're seeing these changes come in and you're seeing that it's not time to fight anymore because you have this energy here of the Aries energy, of this sense of you know, knowing what it is that you desire and going after it, but also having to stay true to yourself. And there's just that fire that I'm seeing from the Aries energy that is something that you are victorious. You don't have to keep on fire, fighting. In book is showing you that as you turn inward, you are finding your balance. You're finding that sense of harmony. You're taking a leap of faith to move to a place that is right for your soul, the place that you desire being, the way that you desire moving forward. This is going to be a time of blessings, a time of healing, a time of evaluating where you want to stand and what you see as important. This is having a fierce energy around you and knowing that yes, you could stand in front of everybody and declare what it is that you want, but it's time to turn inward. For you, this in bulk energy is all about turning inward, grounding yourself and moving forward towards what it is that you desire and not having other people have to agree with it, setting yourself free from emotional turmoil, resting, taking in what it is that you need, thawing from the winter that has been in your soul for some time now. For, I mean, you have this count of four here. I would say that it's been four months at least that you have felt as if you're struggling. Also the number four with family, it could be that you have struggles and it's going to be different for each and every one of you, but around feeling centered within your home, within the way that you're moving forward, within home and security. And then the two of wands, looking at what it is that you desire, looking at the way that you want to move forward, Leo, is highly important because you're not only looking at today, you're looking at the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come. Your subconscious is the nine of cups, love. Healing beautiful love moving you forward. You have the goddess Venus right here represented by the bumblebee moving you forward towards what it is that you desire. There's a sense of sitting in the sun, embracing what it is that you want, embracing the truth that you have, the way that you want to move forward within your life, and knowing that that beauty is there for you, guiding you, and bringing you to where it is that you want to be. All right, Leo, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness, and may harmony always be with you. Bye.